They may think that's okay that we have structural institutional racism that puts a certain group of people socioeconomically challenged in positions where they're, they're dealing with poverty from generational poverty. We're never given a fair shake in this country. People that were slaves for four and five generations released into the world with no education, no land, no, no loans, no nothing. And then, oh, well, and locked up in 100 years of Jim Crow, segregation, black codes, all this crap to put them back in prison using the 13th Amendment, which makes them slaves all over again. Because they're now incarcerated with no rights to vote, no rights to access, even when they get out. No access to housing, no access to health care, no access to voting rights, no access to all these things. Maybe Ron has a problem with that. He doesn't see any problem with the people that are underclass who get pushed through that system. Marcus Conti reporting. Uh, this is not going to be a, uh, a, Tim, uh, a uh, Tim Black bashing, but it, it, it's interesting because I want to talk about YouTube's censorship and they're they're starting to ban free speech it's not just a speech it's not just an attack on free speech but it's an attack on on free press and free speech so so when we hear tim black talk about you know the the rights of the black man I, and i love tim black i i mean i'm i i i'm 90 90 percent with tim on most subjects now the the issue of of black white right if we're going to talk about hate speech if we're going to talk about speech where we, where we separate people and and accuse this group of people over here for the for the faults of that person over there, or that group of people over there, then we are we are in a. Um, I I believe you you should be allowed to say it all, but we're in we're now in a in a time where uh, corporations are making human rights decisions on all of us. They're making uh, First Amendment rights on all of us. Now, in terms of, you know, the, the argument you just heard that is pro-black, right? If, if look, if, if everybody, okay, everybody that comes into this country has some sort of, as an immigrant, has some sort of uh, defect or is behind the, behind the ball in terms of progress, right? All of them, right? My people are Italians, right? They came here, they got spit at, they got cursed at, they, they took the shitty jobs throughout New York. A bunch of generations later, you, you've got what you see, this fine specimen of a human in front of you right now, right? <laughs> so it does, you know, you people can <coughs> break out of um, institutional racism and discrimination, right? You see it all the time. I mean, there's people, I mean, I live in, especially Tim Black, who lives in a multicultural area, uh, Washington, D.C., if you come to, you know, New York City, you can walk out my door right now. There's, I have, there's Muslims on the block, Arabs, they're from Pakistan, they're from, who the hell knows where they're from? Right? They're from Morocco, right? You got Chinese neighborhood, you got the Hasidic Jews, you got the, the Mexican neighborhood, you got everybody, right? And nobody, right? Uh, what, what I was trying to say is that folks come into those communities and, and within, you know, a certain amount of time, break out of it. And to turn around and blame uh, the other party for your oppression, I just think is, is it, it aids, it creates the atmosphere that we now have, which is a discriminatory, you know, regulatory, you know, regulating what people say and, and, and that sort of thing, right? So... I mean, an example right here. I'm looking at my cat right now, my old cat, right? And the cat is having problems um, getting up on the bed. She's now 18, 17, 18 years old, and her le her back legs are starting to get a little wobbly, right? So she can't, like, she, she likes to drink water out of the tub, and sometimes you'll see her you'll see her go, try to get into the tub, and now she can't do it because her back legs are not, you know, kicking in. And I'm tempted to pick her up and and put her on the bed she can't get up this high right this little jump up to the bed that's the mattress on the floor i'm tempted to pick her up and put her up there and i'm also tempted to put her in the tub so that she can drink the water that she likes to drink and i say to myself i'm creating an, a, a, an invalid by doing that right i'm creating this this she'll stop trying to do it on her own and she'll she'll then you know sit around waiting for me to pick her up what if i'm not there 
She can't drink water, right? She'll just sit and wait, right? So you, you're creating. The point is that I think that affirmative action and um, all of these, uh, you know, placing, you know, placing blacks to the front of the line or placing Chinese to the front of the line or placing whites to the back of the line is is detrimental to a free society, free speech. Uh, and uh, and now they're doing it with press, right? So let's look. So so what the hell am I talking about? Sorry, Tim Black. Tim Black, you're welcome to come on the show anytime. You want to debate me on black and white issues? Let's do it, man. Because I don't think of myself, I only think of myself as white when I hear rhetoric like what you just rhetoric uh, about black. I mean, it's the only time I think of white, right? And you want to say it's white privilege and all that shit? Eh, we can argue about that, but I, I, you know, whatever. But that's besides the point. So here is more. His this is my email, my personal email. I was uh, two videos got knocked off last night because of YouTube's community guideline. They're not strikes. They're just they're just taking your video and throwing it in the garbage, right? And and those are like, I mean, if you make videos, right? If you do this all the time. Videos are like your children, right? You, you create, I mean, I got 800 children, right? 900 children, right? You make a video and you, and you want people to see that video and it's your work of art. And then some idiot comes along and says, you know, it's, it, it breaks our guidelines, right? So the videos that got knocked off, I, I titled Jew Logic, UN says Israel shot children in Gaza. Israel says UN are Jew haters. Right? And those were almost direct quotes out of the articles that I uh, uh, quoted. And it was flagged for, quote, glorifying or, or inciting violence against another person or group or people. Right? That's, that's what it is. So it's a, it's a flag for hate speech. Here's the other one that got knocked off. All, all this New Zealand shit, right? You know, fuck you, New Zealand. I, I don't care, right? I'm not even going to talk about the New Zealand. New Zealand, you could choke on a fucking, choke, choke on a big one, right? Because I don't care. Everything you've, the New Zealand government, right, and, and their their antics, the way they handle their their crises is, is ridiculous, right? Their their, their 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 suppression of free speech is off the rails, right? And you're creating problems in in my my life because of it. Just to talk about your stupidity and the shit that happens in your country, then I got to get I I got to take people like me got to take the hit for you. Fuck you, man. And so, so I talked about real versus fake, psyop versus lone wolf theory in the Christchurch shooting, right? Now, that guy's back in the news, by the way. Here he is, right? New Zealand judge allows image of man charged in mosque, uh, mosque shooting. New Zealand, fuck you. You're on your own, man. I don't give a shit about what happens with fucking New Zealand. Uh, so, so anyway, unless, unless, of course, New Zealand would like to retract their 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 aggression against the the press the free press then we might have something to talk about and until then fuck you so these are the other ones that got knocked off right so this is a, just a new wave this is out i just wanted you know to clarify june 5 that was yesterday right everybody got an official blog right? so here's the other ones all christchurch shooting deleted mosque video uh disappearing cartridges Victim testimony. You're not allowed to talk about anything with New Zealand. Fuck you, man. You're killing us, man. So what? If you don't want free speech, just don't talk about it. Why don't you just? Why don't you not even put it in the in the press? Why don't you just build a wall around yourselves and 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 fucking suffocate yourself? Who cares? Right? If that's the way you want to live, but don't don't claim to be some Western in you know progressive country and then you you lash out with, i don't know who the hell is doing this shit but i guarantee you it has something to do with the new zealand government right uh and whatever pressure they're receiving right it's always i know it's always big business it's always oligarchy someone's squeezing you and you turn around and squeeze the little guy but you know what sometimes you just got to take the fall right so ongoing uh work to tackle hate June 5, right? Violent content. <laughs> Violent content, right? You know, authoritative, to raise up authorit authoritative content. That basically says that they're going to push what is authoritative in front of you, right? Because authority is Fox, CNN, ABC, CBS. They're, for some reason, authoritative, right? Especially in news, right? Why? 
because they got the they got more money behind them because they're because their opinion means more. Look, the only difference between Fox, CNN, uh, you know, MSNBC, why why is it that none of they're all the same and they're all stuck in the same lie? And someone like myself or you know the, the people that I admire could come forward and just speak from the heart. Look at the situation, speak from the heart without any filter and be closer to true than, than all of those uh, agencies combined. Now, is that some special gift? Is that some special power, some special talent? It's probably a little bit of talent, but mostly it's grounding in, in that, in the truth. Right? It's grounding yourself in the truth and saying, what do I see without any filter, without any noise, I know I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get I'm going to get hit left, right, and center. I'm going to get hit hard for saying for speaking the truth. And I, what do I care? I don't care of your opinion. As long as I spoke the truth and I get a reaction, then I'm doing the right thing because I'm challenging your falsehood. I'm challenging your 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 uh, your your cloud, right? Your delusion, right? So, so violent content. What is violent content, right? So. When when Chelsea Manning's video hit the hit the the news and you saw American troops shooting down civilians for no reason, right? That's violent content. No, that's that's truthful content. People need to see that. Right? Violent content. Look at that one. I'm stuck on that one. Right? Right? Look at the look at look at look at the Hollywood movies. How many shootings? Watch the Terminator. How many people get shot? How many guns? How many bullets are fired? Bombs blow up, doors blown off, people's heads get blown off, right? Over and over again. Violent content. So what are we going to do? Ban Hollywood? Ban movies that have violence in it? What, I mean, you know, where do you, where do you stop, right? It's, it's either free expression, free speech, and, and free press, or there is no free speech and free press. That's I mean that's just the fundamental way I see it. Now you could say, well, well, what about what about uh, you know pornography and 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 you know and, and other things like that? Okay, so there is you use your your human nature, your human. I I don't know I I don't know. I mean you could say all drugs should be legal, and then you could say all drugs should be illegal. Right? What's the difference, right? Why is this drug legal and that drug isn't legal? Well, this one who's to say this is more dangerous than that? I just did it the, the the piece yesterday on. Magic mushrooms, right? The all the evidence, all the medical people, magic mushrooms are not addictive. <laughs> really? <laughs> Pot's not addictive. Really? Uh, okay, I, I beg to differ because there's plenty of people that get sucked into uh, addictive patterns with all those substances. Uh, reduce the spread of borderline content. Oh my God! Borderline means that you know what, what does it mean? What does it even mean? Continue our uh, work to improve. You can go through all this. It basically means if we don't like your face, if we don't like, if we don't, if we think you're you're right on the edge of saying something important, we're gonna just cut you off. Right? Rewarding trusted creators, right? Those are people that the 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 uh, I'm already shadow banned and 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 uh, demonetized for speaking truth. So I'm not a trusted creator, and therefore I'm not a, I don't have authoritative content. And 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 they're striking videos because it's violent and borderline. It's it's just insane stupidity. What is hate speech? I thought hate speech was protected by the uh, didn't the constitution didn't the uh, the Supreme Court rule that hate speech doesn't exist? But nonetheless, you've got a community that is a a a company that is trying to instill these uh, unfair terms hate speech on a community uh, that's discrimination right there it's 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 not allowing people to speak freely is discrimination it's actually that's actually what's going on age cachet i guess was that the uh, class uh disability uh, ethnicity gender identity nationality race I immigration status religion sex gender sexual orientation victims of violent Events and their kin, uh, veteran status, right? And it, it even goes further. Like right? they're talking about banning people that talk about a flat Earth, or you know, where does it stop? Who cares? What do I care 
if someone wants to say that the fucking earth is flat. Do I give a crap about what that... It's a video that I won't watch. Or I'll watch it once and say, oh, it's crazy, right? It's, it's crazy conspiracy theory, right? It's crazy thinking, right? And even in saying this, people will say, oh, what you're talking about? Fucking you investigate, man. Fucking, fucking earth is like a donut. You jerk off. And fuck it. So, good deal. Uh, so, we're having a discussion about it. But you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to put up a video that challenges the idea of a round earth. It's just bizarre. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what I wanted to say about these, um, these uh, discriminatory rules here that, that people uh, are, you know you know, uh, talking about, YouTube is talking about, they resemble these rules right here from Article 15 of the Human Rights Law, which I have fought tooth and nail up and down, left and right in state court, and um, uh, I know a bit about it. And it is, it, it's generally the law is, is, is kind of, is supposed to be narrowed to employment discrimination or education, places of accommodation, uh, living arrangements, um, right? And it's all, it's the same, they rattle off the same uh, uh, age, race, creed, color, national origin, sexual orientation, gender identity, or expression, military status, sex, military, marital status, disability. All those things are a mirror image of what YouTube is now trying to do. But the, YouTube is going further than the, than the law, really, right? First of all, these discriminatory laws, right? All of these these agencies are awash, right? They're they're generally packed with very hypersensitive, overly sensitive people that are sensitive of their race, they're sensitive of their sexual identity. They're they're the hypersensitive characters, right? And those are the people that infiltrate um, uh, agencies, uh, legal agencies like these. They should be you should throw them all in the garbage, right? You should have some human rights, but not to the point of no one can speak. You look at this list. No, you can't speak, right? Age. Oh, you fucking he's called me old. Cut, take his video down. Oh, disability. Oh, fucking you can't make it. You can't make a joke like a Special Olympics joke. You can't joke. It could somehow be twisted as hatred against individuals. Now, where does it stop? Is what I'm trying to say, right? So we watched him. Right? We watched that guy. What else do we see? So what what's going on, man? So YouTube is on the on the on the uh, on the prowl. They're looking to knock people down. They're looking to probe. They're getting probed. Right? You see what happens? You see how they how they they push it off on the little guy, right? Because they're getting probed. The 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 Congress is 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 you know is rolling out a probe into Google, and to see if the, these very things that they're talking about, where they where they um, they uh, uh, place competitors some competitors in front of other competitors, making the atmosphere, and they're, they're violating antitrust law, right? And now they're doubling down on it. It's actually, you could see that it's actually part of their policy. Part of their policy is to, to raising, raising up authoritative content, right? That's what they're actually doing. And so now, the, so they're doubling down on, you know, uh, uh, this type of behavior while they're being probed by, Congress and allegedly being probed by the judicial by by uh, Trump, and uh, and ultimately it'll be it'll be led, uh, litigated judicially. It'll probably hit the Supreme Court. Hopefully it will. You know, we get a, a decision on that. But but uh, Trump is uh, driving it through the Department of Justice. The the uh, House and Senate want to probe a bipartisan probe into breaking these companies down. Enforcing uh, antitrust law, uh, uh, Trump is saying the same thing. Ultimately, judicial, the Supreme Court will will have something to say at some point. And what do we get out of it? What 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 what's what's the what's it's, a, it's supposed to be a benefit. It's supposed to be something that that allows more free speech and more opportunity. And you see what happens, like when 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 you hit these corporations. They squeeze the little guy, shut you up. Uh, so I, I don't know where it leads. I mean, I, look, YouTube is probably, its days are numbered, but it's grown so big because of monopolization, right? Google buys it and empowers it, and now you start to see the um, 
authoritative, heavy hand come in and try to try to lean on people and try to navigate the discussion. And and it's look, it's not surprising. I you can get worked up about this and 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 everything that I just said in this video can be viewed as a giant rabbit hole, right? And above that is really the the truth and the what is the truth? The truth is that corporations have an interest in shutting people up, shutting people like me up. Shut up already. We have a we got we got a business to run here. We got an agenda. We got to pump the American people with enough bullshit and enough fucking lies so that they just they just keep working and they, they don't know they don't know that they're being robbed. And people like you keep telling them they're being robbed. So that's really that's really the essence of of what we should be looking at, right? Which is which is the corporations are run amok, but they're not gonna go, as I said before, they're gonna go down in flames, right? They're gonna burn people. They're gonna burn their 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 field before they hand it over to the enemy, right? That's what's going to happen. So are there viable, um, legitimate, viable avenues that we could all go to? Uh, and not at this point, in my opinion. Most people are on YouTube because it's big and it's easy and it's, it's, it's uh, vast. I mean, every musical album in the world is on there and every video, and you can find everything on YouTube, right? It's a great, it's a great platform, but now it's this business of authoritative content and, and borderline content and rewarding trusted creators and, you know, v violent content, you know, violations and all this crap is just, um, it, it's insanity. And when, I guess when, maybe, maybe a futuristic view will all someday have servers in our in our you know own possession like i'll have a server i'll have a computer and a server next to it or my computer will be a server and somehow i'll have my own domain and and somehow people will find me but at this point the only way to to broadcast a message is in the public square and that public square right now in terms of video is clearly youtube and so until that changes uh, I guess we're stuck with it. So, am I going to tone myself down? Am I going to am I going to say less? And and um, no, I just you know what I, I mean. I, I I there's a couple of commentators that I really that I admire, and they claim to be quote um, playing the long game. Oh, I'm just going the long game. That's how they they quiet themselves down and not talk about certain objects, certain uh, subjects. I don't know if I can do that, but uh, so. Just subscribe to my other channel, Marcus Conti 2 and the other ones, and uh, maybe we'll still be here. Who knows? But the purge is on, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe 10, 10 videos down already that uh, got knocked off. Marcus Conti reporting.